You guys know Mr. Little John? He got a job. Guess how much? No. One twenty-seven. He got a salary position for one hundred and seventeen. I told him to take that one. Mm. Huh? Salary. Salaries. One hundred seventeen thousand. He hasn't even finished the class yet, has he? Why are you trying to take that one? Huh? Why are you trying to take that one? Because the other one that was 120, it was actually 124, it was a contract position. Um, yeah. It was a contract position. Yeah. You know, so those contracts, you know, you take, you take whatever, they, whatever they give you, it, it is what it is. You know, sometimes it's, it's contract to hire or uh, um, attempt to hire. You do it, you do, you know, and they hire you after like six months. But if something's going to offer you a salary off the gate, you go with that one. You see what I'm saying? Just because it's um, the well, salary, you know, especially th being this your first, you know, um, go at it. Hey, any job that you get, you take it. You know what I'm saying? Like you, like you take it. You know what I'm saying? You take it. But he had, Mr. Little John had five different job offers. It's a lot of money, South Carolina. Huh? It's a lot of money. One was. 90, one was 95, one was uh, 117, another one was 60 something bucks per hour. And he's he take admin one or admin two? Nope. <laughs> Y'all won't listen. Y'all refuse to listen. Okay. Y'all keep hesitating. Y'all keep doubting yourselves. He, he's going to be on video online, online pretty soon in about 10 minutes. He had a little incident at, um, at home so uh, with, his, um, with his family um, that he's taking care of. Um, but he'll be here soon. So, Mr. Little John, I think he, start, um, he starts pretty soon, maybe in like a, a week or two. The only thing is um, he lives in North Carolina, but the jobs are in South Carolina. And guess what he said? He said all the jobs that he says in North Carolina, which is where he lives, which is the ones he prefer to be in, guess what they're requiring? Rack and data guard. Fuck. No, you don't say. Mm -hmm. And because of that, of course, he doesn't have rack and data guard experience quite yet. He's registered for the class, of course. Now, he better be registered for the class. So he will be taking, uh, so he will be taking the job in South Carolina, which is about two hours away. No, he's just going to go. And then once he gets rack and data guard experience and he, he applies for the job in North Carolina, boom, that's it. Yeah, what? It doesn't work? You guys, you guys, I'm just, I'm just hearing crickets. The system doesn't work? Y'all won't listen. Okay. You don't want to listen, right? Okay. He hasn't even finished the class. He's, he's about to turn. He's one of your students right now. He got a job last week. As a matter of fact, he called me. Um, he called me on Tuesday. No, he called me on Wednesday or Thursday. One of them. And normally he texts me, so he, he called me. So he, he left me a message. I didn't just call him back. So we run around. So I finally called him. Um, like eight hours later, then he broke the news to me. I almost had an accident. I was like, what? You did what? I said, wait, wait, is this the recruiter offering you the job or is this an actual? He said, no, I've been to two face-to-face -face interviews. And he said it was easy. I don't care. Is that I, I don't care. The point is, I don't care what the situation is. I don't care if these people have, have 20, 20 million years of experience or zero years of experience. 
The bottom line is the bottom line. Get your freaking job.